Hey guys and welcome back to another Mention 4 tutorial. Today is part 2 of creating our animal AI. In this one we're obviously making this deer. In today's episode we're going to be going over how to give it energy and so it will rest and sleep whenever it needs to. So at random times, whenever the energy has drained enough, it will sleep, regain the energy and then go about its day once again. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to go back into my deer blueprint, which for me is new deer doe vp here. What we want to do in here is we just want to create a function straight away. So in the bottom left down here, you can see we have functions. I'm going to hit the plus function. I'm going to name this one play animation. Now there is already a function called play animation, but I just want to create my own one because I want to just change it up slightly just to make it a bit easier for us to use, keep it a bit more neat and tidy, but the other one will work perfectly well as well. So what I'm going to do inside of this is come out of this function node and I'm actually going to use the other one. So I'm going to come out of here and get play animation with the mesh there. So you can see this is what we could use, but I'm just putting it in this function instead. Selecting the function start again, what I'm going to do is actually drag new anim to play onto that. So then we have that in there. And I'm going to change the name to be animation, leaving the reference the same. And I'm going to drag looping onto play animation as well, naming this should loop question mark. So now what we can do is we can just call this function and we don't need to get the mesh. All we can do is just input the animation we want to use and say if we want to loop it or not. So it's very easy to do. I much prefer this way, but obviously you can do it whichever way you like. We're going to compile and close that. Then we're going to create another function. So we hit plus function again. This one is going to be called stop animation. So we're going to stop any animation we're currently playing. That's very simple as well. So what we're going to do is come out of this and set animation mode from the mesh like so dragging the mesh under there. The in animation mode will be use animation blueprint. Then we'll come out of the mesh again and set anim instance class, connecting that in there with a new class being the animation blueprint we have for this deer, which for me is new deer doe anim bp. And so now that is just gonna reset the animation pretty much. So it will stop playing it and start playing just the normal animation blueprint again. So we can compile and close that function as well. So now we've set up playing and stopping animations. Now we need to actually use them. So I'm gonna come over here and just find some empty space, right click and add a custom event, naming this one rest or sleep, or whatever you wanna name it. And out of this, we're going to get stop movement immediately out of the character movement there. So if it's already moving, so if it's random roaming and the energy goes all the way down, it's just gonna stop. If you don't want that, you don't have to have it. However, I just find that a bit better. So essentially if it's already moving, it's going to stop moving and then rest. After this, we're going to get play animation, calling the function we made earlier. So call function play animation. Now you can see we have these inputs here. So what we can do is we can just get our animation and put the one in we want, which I'm going to be using deer doe go to rest, which is going to play an animation for going down. We don't want to loop that. After this, I'm going to hold down D, left click to get a delay. The duration of this is going to be 1.4. Now I've got 1.4 because that's the length of this animation. If you're using different animations, just get the length. So what you can do is just open up the animation there and then see how long it is. So if I were to pause this, drag that to the end, you see it's 1.33 seconds long. So I've just rounded it up to 1.4. So again, do that for whichever animation you are using, but this is the animation there. So 1.4 seconds for me. After completed, I'm gonna play animation again, the same function that we just made. And this one, the animation is going to be Dear doe, and I think there should be a rest idle. Idle rest there, dear doe idle rest. And I'm gonna tick should loop, because I want this one to actually loop this animation so it stays resting. After this, I'm gonna hold down D, left click to get another delay. The duration of this, I wanna be a random time. So I'm gonna right click and get random integer in range. The minimum as 50 seconds, maximum as 120. Connecting that to the duration, we should get a two float automatically. Now the reason I've chosen these values is because I just want it to be a random time between 50 seconds and two minutes, just because that seems fair, that seems reasonable in a game. And 50 seconds is also the minimum amount because later on when I set up the code for regaining the energy, it's going to take 50 seconds, it won't take more or less. It will just take 50 seconds to regain any energy. So that's the minimum it needs. And then it can stay in, I can have a lie in if it wants to, whatever like that. So again, customize that to get it perfect for you. After this, we want it to obviously end the animation. So we're going to come out of completed and play animation again. So when I say end the animation, sorry, I meant we want it to end the sleeping. 
So this animation is going to be Dear Doe Rest to Get Up, I believe it should be. Dear Doe Rest to Go Back Up. And we're not going to tick Should Loop because again we only want this one to play once. After this we're going to get a delay again, so I hold down D left click. The duration is 1.4 because again the length to go down is 1.4, the length to go back up is also 1.4. So whatever the length of your animation is goes in the duration there. Out of the completed of this we're going to stop animation. Not an montage, sorry, just stop animation with the cool function there. And that's just so it then goes back to our normal animation blueprint that we want. After this, we're also going to set is tired to be false there because the AI is obviously no longer tired as they've just had a rest. We're going to come back to this later on and add one more node here for regaining the energy. Although before that, sorry, we do need to add one more. So after the set is tired, we're going to decide next action. And again, you can tick skip delay if you want to, but I'm not going to and then we'll come back later on to actually regen the energy. But again, we need to set that up first. But so far, this is that code done. So when it needs to rest, it's gonna stop moving, play the animation to go down, play the animation for sleeping. When it's finished sleeping, it's gonna get back up, not be tired anymore, and then decide what it wants to do next. So let's set up the actual draining of energy so it knows when it wants to sleep. So we'll just underneath this, we'll right click and add a custom event, and I'll name this one drain energy like so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down B left click to get a branch connecting that in there the condition is going to be is tired so get is tired and out of this we're going to get a not boolean so if it is not tired connecting that in there so if it's not tired it's going to come out true and drain the energy false means it is tired so it's not going to drain any more energy so what I want to do is create some more variables so I'm going to hit a plus variable here naming this one energy I'm going to change this to be an integer and I'll also give it a category of energy as well. Then I'm going to hit a plus variable again, naming this one energy drain, being an integer, giving the category of energy again. Now the reason I'm doing energy drain is because then if the AI is running, you can increase the energy drain so it drains down quicker because obviously you're going to be using more energy, be more tired if you're running. We'll create one final one, naming this one max energy. We'll create another one in a minute, but we don't need that for this part of code. Again, keep it as an integer category of energy just to keep it nice and organized. So you can see down here, we can then just close that like so. What we want to do now is we want to get energy and we want to set it. So set energy, setting it off of true like so. The input of this, we're going to get a clamp integer because we want to keep it between two values. The minimum is going to be zero. The maximum is going to be our max energy here. So get max energy, connecting that into the max because obviously we don't want it to go above the maximum amount of energy and we don't want it to go below zero. The value is going to be energy, so get energy. Out of that, we're gonna get an integer minus an integer with the bottom value being our energy drain. So get energy drain, and then connecting the subtraction into the value. So whenever the AI is draining energy, it's gonna get the current energy minus the energy drain from that, and then set that to be the current energy. Obviously the maximum is max energy, which we don't really need in this one because we're making it smaller, not bigger, but it's always good to have anyway. So this here is gonna set the energy. However, you can tell this is only going to do it once. So what we want to do is we want to then also decide whether we need to loop this or not to keep draining the energy or whether or not the AI wants to now sleep. So that again is the main part. And then we'll do those in a second. What we should do first is also set the values of these. So let's compile so we can change the default values. Select energy, change the value to whatever you want. I'm going to have mine as 250. So this deer has 250 energy. The max energy, I also want to be 250. And then the energy drain, I'm going to have as two. You can put that as whatever you like. And so the mass, which I did previously, meant that this would take 125 seconds to fully drain energy before the AI needs to rest. And that's just on this normal energy drain of two. So if your energy is 250 and it's going down by two every one second, which I'll set up in a second, it's going to take 125 seconds to drain. So after this, to loop it, what we're going to do is come out of the energy there get an equal equal integer, the bottom value being zero. So if it's tired, we're gonna hold down B left click to get a branch with that as a condition, the input going to set energy there. True, what we're gonna do is set is tired to true because the AI wants to sleep now. And then after this, we're going to simply decide next action. Again, I'm not gonna tick skip delay. Off a of false of this branch, so if it isn't tired yet, we wanna just loop this so the energy keeps draining. So we're going to hold down D, left click to get a delay, connecting it into the false. The duration is going to be one second, so it does this every second. 
and then out of completed I'm just going to call function drain energy. Now I've kept the delay as one second because obviously that makes the maths a bit easier. You can obviously make the delay longer or shorter and you can increase the max energy and, or decrease it and again increase or decrease the energy drain as well. These are just the values which I used because I thought they were good but this is the code done for draining the energy. So I'm going to select all that, hit C to comment it, naming this drain energy and then I'll do normal equals 125 seconds. So I know that it will take 125 seconds to normally drain this energy here. And I believe that math is correct anyway. So now we've drained the energy. What we want to do is we want to also regain the energy. So what I'm going to do is just underneath this, again, I'm going to right click and add a custom event, naming this one regain energy or regenerate energy, anything like that. And we're going to hold down B, left click to get another branch. The condition this time is just going to be is tired. Not is not tired, just is tired. Because if it is tired, we're going to regain because that means they're sleeping. So out of true, we're going to do something similar. So we can just copy this code here, like so. I'll even copy the branch there. So copy the energy minus energy drain into a clamp, set the energy equal equal into a branch. So select all, control C, control V, connecting the set energy into true of the branch, because if we are tired, then what we're going to do is change the minus integer from energy plus an integer, connecting that into energy drain, connecting that into the value there. And let me just straighten that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change energy drain into energy gain. So we're going to hit a plus variable again, naming this one energy gain. Again, I'm going to keep that as an integer category of energy. And then I'm going to compile, change its default value to five, because I want it to go up by five every time. Again, set that to what you want. And then we can just drag and drop energy gain onto energy drain to change it over. So now it's going to get the energy adding onto the energy drain, setting that to the max energy, setting that up until it reaches the max energy of 250, like so. Again, very, very simple. If it's tired, it's just going to add onto the energy, adding the energy gain until we get to the maximum amount desired. Here, where we have energy equal equal, we want to just make sure it's equal to the max energy. So max energy there, which again is 250, because if it is equal to that, we don't want to do anything. We just want it to stop adding on if it's not equal to that, you want to continue adding on. So false, we're going to hold down D, left click to get a delay. The duration is one second again. And the completed, I'm going to regain energy. So it loops it. And again, obviously this true here, it's just going to end the loop. So it stops regaining the energy when it needs to. So again, that will work perfectly for regaining our energy. So I'm going to select all that, hit C to comment it, naming this regain energy. And then I'll do again, takes... 50 seconds, like so. So it's going to take 50 seconds to regain the energy. And again, I hope that math is correct. Then we compile and save that. So what I'm going to do is actually also just comment this. So select it, press C. I'm going to name this one Sleeping Anim, like so. And then back up in this, what I want to do is after the side next action, I'm going to drag that out a bit, and I'm going to get Drain Energy. Because what we want to do is after we've finished sleeping, we want it to start draining the energy again. So we need to set up gaining energy in here as well, but essentially because this is at the end, once it's finished sleeping, it's gonna start draining the energy once again, which is obviously perfect for what we want. So what we can do is go back to our decide next action code that we have here. Off of the true of is tired, we can call function rest. So if it's tired, it's gonna rest. And after that, we can also call function regain energy like so. Now you can put regain energy at the start of the sleep code there, but I'm just going to put it here instead. So that works perfectly for me. So it's going to rest and regain energy when it's tired. And again, we've done that code here. So the rest just plays the animation and then it drains the energy after it's slept. And the drain energy obviously just takes energy, minuses the energy drain and regain takes energy and adds the energy gain onto it. So the final step is just to call this function. So we can go to event begin play we have up here and next to decide next action, also going to drain energy. So when we first start the game, the AI is going to start draining its energy like so. We can compile and save that. And now this should work for us. So I'm going to keep the values the same. So I will probably just speed up the video to make it quicker so you don't have to wait the 50 seconds and 125 seconds, all that. But I'll show you what this looks like now. So we compile, save, and this should be the code working. So I hit play and get in. We can test to see if this works. Our AI is over here. It should just walk around for as long as it needs. Again, 125 seconds 
then it should start sleeping sleep for between 50 seconds and two minutes and stop sleeping again and the energy should be draining and regaining perfectly which we'll be able to see whether or not it is sleeping or not so like i say i'll get back to you when it starts to do that so as you can see it's now tight enough for it to sleep so the energy drained over 125 seconds and then went down into sleeping and it's going to sleep between 50 and 120 seconds now obviously you can change the animation so it looks like it is actually sleeping not just sitting down but again these are just the animations which i've chosen to use now the reason i didn't change the value so it was in quicker is just because i wanted to show that it does take that amount of time and how long it roughly takes because in a game environment you'd want it to be a bit longer so it might feel a bit tedious just following it around but again in an actual game in a survival game that seems more realistic so again now it's just currently sleeping the energy is going to be going back up again and once the energy is up to what it should be it's going to get back up and continue about its day and then go back to sleep whenever it needs to when the energy has gone down again so now it's got back up and it's just going to go about its day walking around again once it's finished the delay of the decide next action now it's just random roaming again so it walked around it slept and it got back up and now it's walking around again so this works perfectly so i think that'll be it for this video which we've done everything we want to do today's episode we just made it so the deer has energy which will go down and go back up and when it's down far enough it will be able to sleep which will then make it go back up again which will then afterwards the ai will get back up from its sleep and continue doing what it was doing so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one